is really just the beginning. We've done Milan, Berlin, and Moscow, but we're going Japan, Mexico, Toronto, Miami, London, everywhere. Well, it's been lovely to go. You go to Russia, and the Russians say, there's our Cinderella, you know, and the, and the Italians say, it's Cenerentola, it's, it's Italian Cinderella. Um, I think they, uh, the, the, the personal relationship to this story surprises me, as does, for the first time in my life, the, my the understanding of the complete obsessive fascination that women have with shoes. It's my mother's old dress. It would be an insult to take you to the palace dressed in these old rags. <gasps> you shall not go to the ball. <laughs> Excuse me. Why are you crying? Who are you? That's better. My fairy godmother. <laughs> They were incredibly evil shoes. I mean, when, when you're wearing green a lot of the time, you know, the colour of envy, then you don't, you can often play against it. So, uh, you know, having such a, an, a, a deep collaboration with Sandy early on was a really big influence for me. I mean, it wasn't comfortable. You're just kind of, uh, you're just self-conscious most of the time because you're like, should I, I stand against the wall because I'm kind of, I feel naked behind me and you hide your bum and then you feel uncomfortable so you kind of turn and you want to hide your front but then your bum's on show. Anyway. You just had to look at the dress and it ripped. So, and also, like I would turn and then, like ten minutes later, the skirt would catch up with me. Um, and Richard had a sword, and he, it was all it was all kind of chaotic. But we kind of got it at the end, partly because Richard would um, like slide his feet rather than speed, uh, rather than step, and and it was um, yeah, it was brilliant. It, it took a lot of work, a lot of hard work, and, and Richard was a was a real pro.